all right guys this is bank nifty and the daily chart so now we have seen bank nifty is running in a range so you can say price channel so let me show you the price channel now you can see we have seen prices running in this in this channel all right so uh when we are using resistance line or supporting line sometimes we are looking for a swing point when price create a new high or new record uh, you never see uh, sorry you never find any swing point at that moment so let me tell you uh, if you want to see bank nifty creating higher high and higher low and uh, right now bank nifty broke the previous higher point so all time high right when price was here somewhere here and at that time we have seen some higher point and a lower point according to our previous uh, data all right so when price is running somewhere here we have seen some support are there right here was support or resistance so now we can see uh, this level was all time high so we will never find any previous data in this area right to find out the resistance line so how we will identify the resistance line all right so in that case we will use here and one thing when price is creating new high even we never seen any support of resistance by using moving averages and we have to eliminate two things one previous swing point there is no swing point when they are running because it is all time high they are creating and all moving averages are running below so we never find any resistance line by using moving average so swing previous swing low swing high and uh, now you can say price is running in an upside so we will use only swing high so there is no swing high or swing low and there are no moving average to find out the resistance line so similarly uh, when price broke this area so we have seen some resistance are there resistance are there all right uh, somewhere here resistance are there right so in this case there is no resistance line up placing by moving average so how we will un uh, identify the resistance line that is why we will use trans channel all right so this is called trans channel let me show you now we can see price is running in this channel so when we have seen this channel it is running like that running like that running like that running like that so when price is pushing up from this lower band and we are looking for a resistance near upper band but remember price up sometime price are running continue uh, prices continue with this upper band so similarly you can see in this area price is running continuously so in that case how we will identify the resistance line so in that case we will use uh, this is called fibonacci all right let me show you fibonacci uh, somewhere here we have seen some resistance let me draw some resistance line by connecting here you can see so we have seen this is a resistance line around 32,346. So let me remove this one right now. Now let's see in a weekly chart here. Now this weekly chart we're gonna use Fibonacci. So in that case we must find out A point and a b point we don't want a c point all right is it clear we need extension we don't want a retracement so in that case i want to use a point and b point when i connect a point and b point exactly we have seen 38 percent extension of fibonacci and uh, which we use trend channel like that right trend channel like that previously daily uh, here this line are uh, forming a resistance line all right 
So next the resistance line we have seen if I break this resistance line and 161 let me draw there. So now you can see when we use weekly uh, this Fibonacci uh, calculation or extension uh, we have seen there is a 61 percent another resistance line another 138 percent extension all right that is our resistance line and you can see now let me remove all right now is it clear okay now if you want to enter for the buy direction we must close our position where in this area first target is showing three two three five zero like that round figure right three two three five zero first target here and the second target is showing three three four three five right that is the next target so that is our next resistance all right we have seen like uh, we, we identify our resistance line and now let's jump to small time frame and this is four hour chart now according to our trading strategy uh, we will use now breakout trading strategy and bounce back trading strategy so always remember uh, you just determine your trading strategy and consistently you apply that strategy don't try to change every day uh, today we, you, uh, you are trading on uh, based on like a moving average next day you are going to trade by using super trend next day you are going to v wave next day you are going to mrcd don't do that find out uh, according to you a uh, best trading uh, strategy all right so after that you just follow consistently right and uh, remember don't try to find out 100 percent accuracy trading strategy there is no 100 percent accuracy trading strategy all right whatever you are using strategy follow consistently all right now we have seen according to the moving average behavior price is respecting moving average uh 20 have you seen prices bouncing from 20 bouncing from 20 bouncing from 20 bouncing from 20 and we are looking for a retracement toward this moving average 20. all right so once they retrace toward this 20 moving average we will start buying from this area and uh, let me show you so how we will identify this level so in that case for the entry we want to draw a horizontal line by connecting this 20 moving average have you seen i just connected once price drop toward this area that is my anti point all right is it clear okay one by one now let me show you another thing here now when price are approaching near 20 moving average let's take a look how they are we have seen this is a bullish uh, sorry bearish candle after that a pin bar and bullish candle so price gone up next you can see bearish candle pin bar bullish candle, uh, bullish candle price gone up have you seen all are forming same time next the bearish candle pin bar bullish candle same pattern are forming have you seen bearish candle pin bar and bullish candle we have seen four times same candlestick pattern are forming exactly above this 20 moving average is it clear all right so we are looking for same pattern bearish candle pin bar bullish candle so after that we will start buying so that is another or buy opportunity all right now if suppose price not able to retrace toward this level if prices continue from this area sometimes it happen right sometimes it happen like that so then when we will enter or either we gonna miss that opportunity or not so in that case we will use a uh, breakout trading strategy in a small time frame called 15 minutes right so let me show you uh, okay now 
before you enter in this market you always uh, find out the market behavior how they are behaving right now right now in a 15 minute chart how it should look like that uh, sometimes they are retracing to, uh, near pro, to 20, 200 exponential moving errors again and again they are bouncing so in that case we have seen a breakout point here let me show you we have seen higher point lower high when you connect these two points we have seen this is the breakout point have you seen all right let me show you our trading strategy is that we are looking for a candle which open and close above this raised and line so i'm talking about the price uh, fail to retrace toward this level if they are continuing toward the upside what is our anti point so i am explain uh, i am explaining about that one all right so we have seen here let me draw somewhere here by using this okay 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 good so now i can see we have seen this is a resistance line have you seen why is it a resistance line so we have seen price reject from this area i can push down and reject and after that we have seen tweezer pattern and broke this level now we're looking for and similarly we have seen that one previously higher point already broke so we are looking for a candle which open and close above this resistance line so exactly we have seen this candle open and close above this candle this uh, resistance line so in that case we will place our buy anti at least 20 to 30 point above in 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 bank nifty right uh, so other stock is different right uh, we can place point all right and uh, like in commodity we can use five to ten point above but bank nifty is highly volatility so that is why we need at least 20 to 30 point above from this area so you place buy order and place your sl most of the people doesn't know where to place sl so in that case who people doesn't know how to place sl you just visit to my uh, youtube channel you will find their atr how to use atr atr oh a t r average two rings that is called so this indicator we are using to find out uh the sl right find out the sl so that is how to use that one you just so uh visit and just uh watch again this uh, my uh, like video so you comes to know how to use ATR or SL right stop loss so target suppose if you you have seen my SL is at least 20 point right somewhere here or 30 point for example I'm talking about and you place your profit target at least according to trading ratio which is called money management 1.5 right and then target will be at least 30 point right come out from the market and if you wanna draw the range just do some uh, zoom a little more here and try to connect according to price channel from this area and this area let me show you where is the another point so you can see exactly are there here uh, we have seen there is a no buy opportunity right now and if they break this level so it will continue toward this level and target will be somewhere here around the, let me show you our target will be somewhere around 32240 all right so i think uh, you are able to understand what trading strategy going to use today so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.